the type of data robot learning needs has to be a lot more flexible and has to contain real physics so a robot knows how to interact with the world. As it turned out, there are these things called generated models that can produce realistic and very diverse images on demand if you tell the model what you want in the language we speak. So our key insight is that we can use these generated models as internet scale data on steroids or internet scale data on demand and use these models to generate the data for the robot to learn from. This is what the robot sees. Each frame is rendered with a generative model. By flashing between different visual experiences, the robot gains an understanding of the many ways the world might look. So our research program is called Lucid Sim. It's a simulated learning environment for like robots to learn how to do visual parkour from generated images. If you really want household robots that can live in the same room as we do, you need robots that have legs. The impact of our research is to give robots the mobility it needs to operate in the places like us humans live in. We want the robot to take in a series of images rather than a single frame. So we developed Dreams in Motion, which helps us generate subsequent frames from a single generated image that aligns with the robot's movement and experience. If you just teach the robot using data from another robot, it actually wouldn't work very well. So it's really, really important for the robot to learn from its own data that's generated by its own actions. And this type of data is called unpolicy data. It's to give robots the ability to handle these long horizon tasks and to reason about and to explore the open world at its own will. I truly believe that this is how you'll be training your robot in the future, that is, to learn from generated data.